I've got my high par anti sport 2 rebuild here um i've already run this today I, i've got a problem with the motor wires keep coming undone um so i've kind of opened it up opened up the connector on the motor wires hopefully um i've got a max 8 max 8 esc in it paired up with um the Corali Kurun 250kv motor um, I thought I had some shit one sec yeah I've got some putty here man a bit of blue tack I tried opening it up open up the connectors as much as I can especially this one this one these two are all right I think they just stuff this in here man fuck it um it's running all right with a max 8 esc not bad um i had a i had a max 6 in here originally i had a max 6 in this truck for a long time man so it was pretty crazy um i've got a what pinion have i got in this I think I've got a 16 tooth. You see there's six, I think it's a 16. You see there's 16. I think it's a 16 tooth I've got in this truck. Um, shock rebuild as per vid. Bought two, two new shocks. And basically rebuilt, re, uh, had to build it because it wasn't built. The oil came with the shocks a bottle of oil which was enough to do four shocks which I rebuilt um, what else broke on this truck watch the vid man I made a vid of this in it I was in the pro process of building rebuilding the truck with the shocks all broken um, the, the front the front bulkhead went the also a couple of cvd dog bones i didn't realize one went in the front one went in the rear um the actual end bit the dog bone part that looks like a dog bone that actually broke off so the wheels the wheels weren't spinning so i had to swap that about that out uh, front bumper, I think. Oh, I forgot to show you, man. The knuckle in it. You see the knuckle bracket there I put on on both sides because I bought I bought it, didn't I? I showcased it on the vid. So, so this is basically a second test run of this, man. As I mentioned, I had problems with the motor wire. Kept backing out. So I've already run I've already run a battery pack through this today. I've also waterproof the ESC, not the ESC, the receiver, the receiver box, because as you can see, there's a lot of water out here, man. Rear wheels are. Rear wheels are um, wobble wobble. It's got that wobble to it, isn't it? JT said as well, isn't it? This high bar. Yeah, it's not running too bad with the Max 8 and the um, The uh, Corali Kuron 250kV motor. Not so much wheel. Uh, I was going to say not so much wheelie, but it tried to do a wheelie. That was full throttle.
<laughs> yeah, you know that backflip. It's just about getting through the water. Full throttle through the water. Something's gone wrong with this. Well, the motor wire didn't come loose this time. Now it's because when I ran this earlier on, the motor wire was constantly coming loose. This rear wheel, see the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. A little one. Steve McQueen. Yeah. Maybe me. I really like this Yeah, 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 alright, cheers. Leave it here with this car, man. Look, something's going on. Shit. See the, 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 this left wheel. It was running alright earlier on, man. Nice fuck. Yeah, it was running perfectly alright. Could be, I don't know. That's full throttle. Yeah. <sighs> Solved the motor wire. Solved the motor wire problem now. Now it's something else. I wonder if it's the actual dog bone. That's busted out again. Because I checked the discs, the discs were all right. The front and rear diff, I checked. Um. Oh, fucking hell. Uh. Mesh is all right. I think it's the rear, it's the rear. Rear. You see that wheel, this wheel. You see this wheel. It's starting to be funky up, upstairs, up on the front as well. See, I push brake. Jeez! Fucking one thing after another, man. Oh well, the motor wires look sorted out at least anyway. They didn't come come unplugged. Um, that that little run, that little short run, I had with it just now. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to open up the back end of this again. This truck.
Yeah, this wheel seems like it's spinning more freely. This wheel spinning more freely. Um, could be the diff, man. Could be the rear diff. Blew out the rear diff, man. Ha, <laughs> fucking hell. As I said, I ran a battery pack through this truck already today, man. But the motor wires, I didn't bother film it because every couple of minutes, the motor wires kept backing out. It backed out at least three times, three, four times in the vid. And um, did I turn this off? Yeah. So I didn't bother make a vid. So, hence, that's why I'm out here. Again. But as I said, you solve one problem. And there's another problem. The motor wise looks like it's sorted out now. And uh, now it looks like fucking Ray Diff is gone, man. Fuck's sake, man. Jesus, mother fuck. Good thing I've got some st steel gears. I showcased it on the vid, innit? On the vid. When I made a vid of this truck, I was in the process of. Um, rebuilding it I've got some steel discs and I've also got the normal discs the planetary gears for the yeah still planetary gears normal planetary gears so I'll stick the steel discs if it's a if I if it's a diff problem with this truck I'll use the steel diff for the rear and then I've got, I've got um, another set of normal planetary gears. That's the shocks anyway, you know what I mean? I'm not sure what weight oil came with the shocks because as I said, um, you have to basically assemble the shock together, the shocks together, and it came with some oil in it. A bottle of oil sufficient enough to, um, build three uh the four shops anyway leave it here with this fucking bit man fuck's sake always a problem always something in rc's man jeez